Oh, we're taking a look at the uh, the uh, Palsy Buff at Digibee. Um, I'm going to be doing a bunch of reviews over the next few days, but one thing that people wanted me to get to first, and this is just a really, really quick look, is uh, this unit. There's uh, no light in the house on right now, other than the cool LED uh, from this. Here's the xenon tube, and here's the central portion of the LED. And uh, right now I'm going to adjust it. This is the only light on in the house right now, okay? Okay, here we go. Three and a half stops. Wow. And, wow. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is daylight balanced. This is really nice. Look out of this small unit. I can't show you the front because it's too blinding. Um, I can show you my hand. Now all light is going to produce heat, of course, but even my hand at full 400 watts, less than three inches away from the Digibee, is it's nothing. I don't want to touch the Xenon tube because it would leave my fingerprints. Wow, this is really nice. This is actually not really nice. This is awesome. <laughs> I'm going to select that again. Okay. Right now I'm to I'm at the lowest flash setting at two and a half watts. Um, a lot of people think, and yes, obviously so. You know, uh, what's the maximum watt seconds on the Studio Strobe? And uh, a really important factor also, especially for doing macro photography or uh, some uh, secondary or some hair lighting, is how low can you drop it. And if you have a studio strobe that has a bottom that bottoms out at uh, 10 watt seconds, that is quite a lot of light. Uh, really it is. So someone's like, well, more power, more power, more power. And, uh, you know, I thought that way, you know, ages ago too, but... And then you discover how important it is, and people said, well, why did you get the DB400 instead of the uh, DigiB800? And I already have some extremely powerful studio strobes from Pulsey Buff, but I wanted the 2.5 watt second bottom end on this one. And uh, this is excellent. Okay. Wow. <laughs> this, is not, <laughs> this is really nice. And I said... And my hand is right up, right up against it. I mean, I literally barely feel warmth. I mean, this is true. I mean, all light produces heat, of course. You know, no escaping the physics. But this is not much. I mean, you can use this as a video light. This is really nice. Like I said, no light in the house on at all, other than the LED lighting from the Digibee here. And look how small it is, for God's sake. And this was without a reflector. This is just the bare unit. I mean, I should have a reflector on this. But I'm just showing you a very, very quick uh, peek see at uh, the Palsy Buff uh, Digibee. Extremely nice. I love how the cute little logo I love the, I think that's your, I don't know whoever's idea that was, that is so cute, where the little alien bee actually lights up, that's actually adorable. I love cute stuff, actually, believe it or not. Um, so we're going to be doing a bunch of uh, video reviews and getting into the specifics over the next few days, and I'm going to do a shoot on Sunday with this uh, Digibee and an Octobox that you can see back there, but uh, I just wanted to show this to you. Awesome! The folks at Paul C. Buff Rock and this unit really rocks. And by the way, yes, I have this turned on. But, you know, this red unit is the one that the prize winner is going to get. Um, so, excellent. Photo contest next week. And uh, I've done some uh, strobe testing with this unit earlier, but I just wanted to show you the LED lamp on it right now. And uh, it's actually... Um, it's actually more impressive than I thought. I mean, I knew it would be impressive, but uh, this is great stuff, and the price on it is excellent as well. Uh, check the link below, link below, if you like one. It's available in red, green, blue, and black. And uh, this is the DB400, and the DB800 is also available. Thanks for watching, and uh, I will catch you uh, folks later. Okay, bye.